Welcome back everybody. Uh, we are now on round three of static testing our 4 Bates grain uh, motor. Uh, this is now going to be a flexi fuel motor. Uh, the nozzle, uh, just this test nozzle I've created here is exactly the same as the one that we created in our first tutorial. The real modifications to this are actually the Rocketman BKK uh, delay grain tube uh, parachute release system here. So what I've done as it was suggested to me that the inside of the delay grain tube uh, number one gets coated with uh, PVC primer and then scuffed up with sandpaper. Uh, step number two uh, coat it with five minute epoxy and then scuff it up with sandpaper and uh, number three uh, instead of using flexi fuel uh, which is very um, very deformable under pressure is use regular R candy and last but not least to actually cap it off so that delay grain won't uh, won't move and that is is filled up to the very brim so there shouldn't be any room for movement in that all this extra work is just to uh, hopefully get a better case bond with the uh, with the R candy and make it so we have a predictable delay and, and no more failures so we're going to take this outside and give it a whirl uh, if it works and that's really good news uh, if not then you might want to cover your ears because I'm likely to use the F word at this point. So let's take it outside and we'll give it a whirl. Okay, so here we go with actually static test number three. You'll notice uh, the water bottle with the blue label. If this works after 12 to 15 seconds, that water bottle is gonna drop to the ground. So the motor should fire uh, from the point of ignition to the time that bottle drops, we're hoping is no more than 15 seconds. So I'm gonna scoot over to the car, touch the battery and let's see how this goes. Folks, that is the very sweet sound of success. Uh, I was back at my car just taking shelter, and I don't know exactly how long that delay lasted, but uh, it, I think it's going to do the job. So I'm going to stop this and upload it, and we'll, we'll count the seconds together. All right. Thanks for sticking with me.